hello everyone and welcome back to your own channel technical sahil in today's video we are going to see that how we can log into a remote server through our windows pc via ssh client which would be putty in most of my videos whenever we need to interact with our server uh, which is on a remote location i generally uh, use putty in many of my videos and when i press any up arrow key for the command repetition or, or whenever I press right click to paste the copied text uh, which I have copied so generally I have not explained these points and this might create a confusion in the viewers mind that that how did I do this or when I right click anything it won't show uh, on the terminal screen so how can I press enter and I will straight away get into the server so in this video I will demonstrate the putty ssh client from download uh, to run to connect to the server and to save the sessions so first of all if you have not installed putty by the way it's not required any installation you just simply need to download the exe according to your system it's 32 bit or 64 bit you simply need to open google and download putty uh, search it on search engine and from here you need to click on this first link And from here you need to select it uh, your operating system either it's uh, unix or windows so mine is windows and it's uh, 64 bit but i need exe so if you also need the same you need to click on this one and it will straight away download uh, the exe it's done and whenever it's downloaded you simply need to uh, search either open the exe or search it for putty and it will simply show uh, right there so you need to click it and it will straight away open now suppose we have to open this uh, server uh, we have to access this server and we don't have as all through we have a console in the digital ocean but sometimes like in contabo or any other uh, provider server we don't have the ssh uh, inbuilt uh, by the provider so we simply need to copy the IP address and paste it here and port number by default is 22 and if you have any different port number you can simply enter it uh, remove this 22 and enter here and we simply need to click open first time whenever we log into uh, any server it will uh, show us this uh, warning check so yes it's I so it's my server and I will trust so i'll click yes after that i need to type username root now it's asking me for a password uh, this is my password and let me copy it from here now to paste anything on this putty's terminal we simply need to right click i have done the right click and it won't show me anything in case of password so when i press enter I will straight away log into my server. So now I can run any command like it's showing me the uh, static host name and the other details, hardware vendor model, and so simply I'll do is I have run this command now if I want to run a similar command but I don't want to type this sudo apt-get so what I need to do is uh, press the up arrow key for the command and it will show me the previous command which uh, I have done if I press the above key again so it will uh, show me the command which I have used above that command so that way we call our command histories now if I want something like upgrade Now if I need to uh, select any option from here, we simply need to select it via drop down keys. If I press the up down drop down key, it will take my cursor to the up and if I simply uh, press the down key, so it will take my cursor to the down. Now whenever we select uh, something, we simply need to press enter key. 
now it's asking me uh, which services should be restarted now if i want to select any service if i press enter it will straight away or send me the okay with the selected four services now if i want anything else any else service to restart i simply need to press the space key to select it and again if i want to deselect it i again need to press on uh, space key and it will uh, uncheck it so if i want to restart any other service i simply need to go to the that service using the drop down keys and whenever i press the space key it will select that service and to unselect it i need to again press the space key on the on pointing the same service after that i simply need to press enter and it's done now now if we it's our server we don't want to uh, log in uh, again and again just like in case of we do instagram or facebook we don't want to enter our password repeated times we just want yeah we need to enter the password in this case but we can uh, remember the username and ip address how do we do that we simply need to first uh, close this session and to close this session we have two ways either we can uh, click on this cross or we can simply uh, enter exit and press enter and it will straight away close now if again we open putty now let me copy the ip from here and we know the username is root so let me typing in and after username uh, type at the rate and paste the same ip now give it a name like uh, digital any name you can give it here after that click save now let me close it again now instead of uh, entering the ip here i simply need to double click this and it will take us to the uh, same ip with username root we simply need to provide the password here and we have logged in to our server now only in case of password it won't show anything like if i again uh, right click on it you can see it has showing me the string which we have copied which was the password so only in case of password it won't show anything when we right click so you have to understand that if you have uh, clicked the right right click inside this terminal screen with the cursor was green so that means your password has been saved if you again right click on it so it will uh, double paste the string uh, the password string and that would be of course an incorrect password so that could be the case you have been watching the trouble while logging to your server and you think that you have done any mistake while resetting the password so that's how we can uh, use putty ssh client on our windows and connect any server either its ssh is enabled or not either we have ipv6 or not we can simply connect it with uh, our ip address ipv4 our username and password and we are good to go so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end